was made to believe women are weaker vessels and of course tend to be a liability to men but are there really liabilities welcome to our corner my name is lola Jurel, and today our topic is how not to be a liability as a woman from the look of things a lot of people get the information and mean it wrong on this context we will be talking about liability which means a person whose presence or behavior is likely to put the other person at a disadvantage so we have our special guest today our mommy she's sweet and she's going to teach us and tell us what liability really mean and of course what we men are thank you very much we'll be right back Our mommy here, Mrs. Teresa Osea, is here and we would like you to meet her. Mommy, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, please, can you introduce yourself to us? I am Mrs. Teresa Osea, a catechist of the Catholic Church. So, I am catechist Mrs. Teresa Osea. Okay, thank you very much, Ma. Please, yeah. can you tell us what exactly you do? I I am a civil servant okay. with Kogi State uh, Government. See, shout out to Kogat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I lecture home economics. I read home economics actually. So I'm a teacher by profession. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, our mommy is a teacher and she'll be teaching us exactly what women are and of course <laughs> the meaning of liability because this is a very controversial topic. <laughs> And we would like to buttress so much on this point. Mm -hmm. Mommy, how do you see women in general? Generally, I see women as um, beautiful, smart, intelligent, natural, who can multitask in every aspect. Women are strong, beautiful creatures of God. Okay, so would you like to compare the older generation to this new generation? I mean, this younger generation of us. Okay. When, in, in the context of liability, mm -hmm. yeah, the older generation tend to be more dependent on their parents, families, and then on their husbands. But the younger generation, are not. They are not really dependent. They love their freedoms. They are really hardworking. Even though the older generations who are older, they are also hardworking in their own rights. But in this new and present generation, we have more educated young women who have a voice and then they fight. For their rights unlike the older generation okay of women. with in this context of fighting now mm -hmm. i would like to talk about what young men i mean youth now i've seen um the the ladies of this generation doing because they are not really fighting they are abusing their rights and they they are not as hard working as you think i mean i'm really i'm talking from the mind of the young men now mm -hmm. they really don't see us as um somebody who is energetic who wants to work for their own who wants to be really independent a lot of youth out there have been into um 
works they are fully dependent on their boyfriends their man and of course their husband so they don't really they're not really carried as people see them even though we, i have not um, done research or taken census of those who are not uh, really hard working okay but i will make bold to say that there are more hard working young ladies than the lazy ones because i want to call those ones lazy okay. who are liabilities who are primarily dependent on their male counterparts okay maybe we can put it at 70 30. so 70 percent of young ladies of this day are more hard work Okay, so Ma, who are the liabilities? The liability ladies are those who are primarily lazy and dependent on their male counterparts or whoever that can give them something. They don't want to go to school. Even when they go to school, they don't want to think of acquiring skills to even help themselves, talk of helping the family. Because when you help yourself by looking for means of making money, legitimate means of making money, it is not by prostitution. You understand me? It is by working with your hands. And nowadays, you can make a lot of money on your mobile device. You understand me? So why would any girl wait you know, comedians in Nigerians these days, they even make jokes. They crack jokes with young girls. It's only the girls from a particular uh, state of Nigeria that will say, give me money for transport. They don't have money for transport. You understand me? Yes, I can. So, it shouldn't come to that. You must have self-worth. You understand me? Yes, as a young lady, you must see yourself as an important, beautiful creation of God. And you treat yourself as such. But when you are always dependent on people, in Yoruba they will say, Ti oko arubuno. if we want to talk about the aspect of women who are dependent and they call themselves full time housewife. No, every woman should try to make money, to be supportive to her husband. Then, yes, I know that we have so many women who are successful who are even heads of corporations and wherever they may be and then but for them to be successful at home you must strike a balance a woman must not lose focus of the headship of a man okay. even if you have money many men are usually afraid when a woman is rich people are talking about the separation of Funky Agindele and GGC right now right yes that because she's successful no that is not the issue it is not the success of funke that's the problem because when a man comes into marriage with a woman and the woman is a successful uh, person even if he doesn't mind side talks friends will be saying he married her because of money even if he's genuinely in love with her okay and then when you allow that to get to your head as a man, there will definitely be a problem. You begin to see your wife that is successful instead of you to coming together, working together in unity. You understand me? Yes, I and do. The, then disallowing side talks or the third person's opinion. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Okay, well. So, um, I want to ask you what, why do women really have to be independent? I mean, making their own money because in this uh, generation now, a lot of young people, young men especially, have been opposing that motion that women don't even really have to come out to be independent or uh, making their own money because they don't even, that the money or the wealth they acquire is not useful. They tend to do it, let's say a woman uh, gather two million naira today mm -hmm. and she earn it or do things while her husband does not have that amount of money she could really not use it well because a lot of younger generation now don't are opposing that motion of why women need to be independent 
and I would like you to buttress on that point. Why do we have to? Why do women now in this generation, I mean, have to make their own money? Why do they have? Why do they have to make their money, and for what reason? <laughs> well, let me pick it from the older generation, okay, which I belong to. You see. I said earlier that the older generation were not really independent. Okay. I won't say they were submissive. Mm -mm. Submissive is a different thing. They were not really financially independent because they didn't even have much. So we take it the, the reversed way. Okay. Maybe 30%. The Where? older generation. We are okay financially okay. and 70 percent were not so 70 percent were probably and solely dependent on their husbands so their views are different when you are dependent on someone there is really little that you can do and then when you are dependent you are independent as a person financially I tell you, you can do a whole lot of things. But a woman, according to the plan of God, okay. comes in second place to a man, which is one of the problems that we are having. Maybe some feminists. A lot, a lot of feminists will not agree yes. to you because yes. <laughs> they, we, yes, in the eye of God, we are created equally. Okay. You understand me? Equal. We are equals. But the man was created before the man, the woman. The rib bone of the man was taken to create the woman, right? Okay. And the Bible says the man should love her. But I tell you, how many men truly love their wives? Because when you truly love your wife, most people go into marriage for procreation. Okay. You understand me? Yes, I do. And then they see their wives as objects. Mm -hmm. So if a woman is not financially independent, for example, you are the first child of your parents as a girl, and you, have not, you are not financially independent, how will you give support to your family? You understand me? Yes, how? When you ask, someone like me, I hate begging. And so many women out there, Hate begging. So I work. I work hard. Because I don't want to be scratching my head. Eh, 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 I, I want to do this one. I don't like it. And it is not every time that you need money that you run to your husband to give you. So when you are doing something, you understand me, you can support him. The question you asked also yes. was that the younger generation of young men yeah. are saying why should a woman be independent, independent exactly why woman, i'm an advocate a woman should be indi financially independent okay why do we need like why do women need the money why they need money because you need money to take care of yourself your husband the man cannot even take care of, his, of himself and all his problem not to talk of your own you want to make your hair you want to buy some things personal things for yourself you don't need to be disturbing your husband who is doing a project. Okay. So aside to come and give you money. Okay. So aside material things mm. now. Okay, I have this there's a Vara post about a man who who his rent was due and mm -hmm. the wife came in with a my foot thirteen. Where whereas they both have been struggling to pay the rent. But you have the amount to pay this uh, rent but you instead of you paying for the rent or assisting the husband with his responsibility mm. you went to buy an iphone 13. so exactly now youth are, are, are now saying why do we why do they have to actually make money because the reason they make this money now is to just show off or buy material ma materialistic no, things not, no it's one out of the population of nigeria is about uh, two hundred two hundred and something million yeah now as of today and women are more in number than men yes so i will be able to say that if one woman out of about 150 or out of about 100 million women, uh, uh, women 
you understand me, does something like that. We cannot use that to generalize. We are individuals. And as individuals, we prioritize what we want. Yes. Exactly, you understand me? Exactly. Our needs. And then, she is the one married to the man. Okay. She knows what is going on. The one in the water knows how deep that water is. Okay. So those of us standing outside the waters, we don't know what she's passing through. Exactly. There are so many issues that could have come up for her to have behaved in that way and manner. Only she can see. Okay. You understand me? Yes. Some men will accuse their wives of collecting money from other men. Some women will not want to divulge the amount of money they have. Even when they are working and they can see that they are really truly working. You understand me? And then some men, once, once they know that their wife has money, that is when they will stop their responsibility. Their responsibility as fathers, as, as husbands first and then as fathers to their children. Because until that money that he <laughs> knows the wife has is finished, okay. he will not want to do anything in the, okay. in the home. So, so therefore, the woman will not want to say, this is how much I have. But coming to the area of helping the man with the house rent, maybe she has helped him before and severally he has refused to pay the money back. I am not supporting that action because okay. I won't take actions like that. Because if anything embarrasses my husband, I am equally embarrassed exactly. because I carry his name. So, but to a woman like that, that is not important. So let us manage our crisis internally. So now, now that you've, t you've talked about uh, women having their own money and, mm. and back to our former, our topic now, mm -hmm. how do we empower women? I mean, the so-called liabilities. Good. We can organize uh, workshops, seminars. We can start, we can start from secondary school, catch them young, change the perspective. Perception of life of young ladies now is different right. the internet has changed so many things the world is a global village you see someone in the comfort of your home in america life and you see the life the kind of lifestyle they are living yeah. you want to do that here where you don't even have nepa to 24 uh, uh, 24 hours a day yeah. maybe you have a uh, light the, a power supply maybe in the morning ration to this area okay. in a place like Kaba, for okay. example now okay. maybe uh, uh, in Ayeteju that we are in now there, is, there, there will be lights in the evening I'm sure you are running this now on, on chain <laughs> of course, <If> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then maybe midnight when you are no longer here there will be lights here so how I, I don't know to be to, to, it's just to go to school, like St. Monica's, secondary schools, schools for girls, educate them. They need, it is important that we talk to young people now. What you see, most of these things we see on the internet are stage managed. They are not true ways of lives. But then, a lot of girls or women now are yes. carried away because by, they, don't, by, yes. they don't really fancy this empowerment thing. They just want to live large. It's not, I'm not even talking of empowering them, but talking. But, you know, advising them. We, we, we can organize. It's not only when you want to to, to give them some things. We are not, I am not a politician, for example. Okay. So, if I don't have anything to give you, but if I have the opportunity, and then maybe your studio, your, the, 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 the MD, CEO, decide that, okay, let us go out for enlightenment program. Okay. We enlighten young ladies. We try to change. We tell them that, look what you are watching. In some countries, they don't even allow some of these things. You understand me? Yes, I do. <laughs> but here, there is freedom. A child of about 13 is holding iPhone, whatever. Yes, you call them, I don't know. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. so, but use them 
for education now purposes so that you gain more by doing that but now copying their way of life we cannot copy what is even wrong in the first place even they in Europe overseas now they are trying to take back some of these things that they have done that are not civilization they are Please. not mm. Okay, so thank you, Ma. Um, can you also enlighten us on the use of, uh, I mean, what is the use of women in, ho I, I mean, at home and of course the, soci the society, society at, at large. large. Yes. Women at home, I said earlier that a, a woman is a natural. Natural. We nurture. Yes. We develop. Mm -hmm. We build. You understand? Yes. Every stage. You nurture your, you nurture your children. In your immediate environment you understand me they said one woman will give birth to a child so many mothers or the people in the community will train the child it's not only one woman that will train the child yeah but then what is the role of a woman at home that's the question the role of a woman at home is to make sure that she takes care of her family support her husband in every area without allowing people to know okay yes that's also a very big deal yes it is you don't have to make people know that i am the one helping him there are some women who are lousy who just talk anyhow exactly they will be saying comparing notes you can't compare notes you don't know where your neighbor's uh, husband is working how can you be sharing notes of uh, my husband gives me thirty thousand naira to to as uh, to, 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 to make soup with someone who is collecting 25,000 Naira as salary because we happen to live in the same compound, community exactly. or compound, you understand me? So women should just uh, seal their lips a bit because it's causing a lot of problems. Okay. Nurture, keep your home, do whatever it is that is needed for you. If you are a career woman, strike a balance, you understand me, between your job and your home. Give us so tips that on how to sorry, give us tips on how to strike the balance. Because balance. it has always been we a major problem, problem with women. With women. Exactly. Okay. You are a career woman. For example, you go to work. What time do you leave the house? You arrange yourself in in such a way that you will be the home front will not suffer. Okay. So if there's need for you to get a help, you get a help by way of employing someone to assist you at home then you know you take responsibility to pay that person it's still your job it is the job of a woman to pro prepare food for her family it is the, the 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 responsibility of a woman to take care of her children by way of getting them ready for school you know and then making sure that the home front is properly arranged and clean thoroughly you understand yes, so how do you strike a balance the woman who wants to go to work you get a help if you can't get someone that will be a living house uh, uh, home manage manager or man my home uh, and housekeeper you can get someone who will come weekends when you'll be around you understand me then make breakfast before you leave the house package lunch for your husband to take to work you have done something you are you ought to to do if you are a full-time housewife okay you do the two together breakfast and, and lunch, lunch. Okay. then you are home you, you, you try to make dinner then you rest until the next day okay. if there is need for you to to do some of the things in your office that will take you longer hours you bring them to the house so that you get home quickly. Take time to rest so that you will not freak out. So, Ma, what is your reaction now to leadership and freedom in this context? Yes. I said earlier on that uh, women will take second place. 
whether we accept it or not, the feminists, whether they accept that or not, that is uh, not an issue for me. Okay. Because <laughs> in the master plan, we are second in place. And then we shy away to unconsciously from taking responsibility of leadership. When some women are given that position of leadership, sometimes they refuse. We always want to be second. It's just recently now that women are coming out the, that even you, uh, um, that woman that's contested to be the president for presidential election, oh, yeah, um, yes, Sarah Jubri, some time ago. Uh, I don't know if even if, if, uh, I don't know. Uh, it was only one vote that she got. <laughs> Is it that she was the only one that uh, voted for herself? <laughs> so what was the problem? You understand? Is it that she didn't have people in her family who even trust her enough exactly. to vote for her? So we have that problem with the men flexing their muscle okay. with us. You know, saying they cannot allow a woman to come and lead them. So it makes many women back. Thank you very much for mm. your advices, mm. your opinion yes. on this topic. Mm. So, ladies, you can hear what mommy say. And of course, youths, I mean young men, you can also agree with what she has said. Mm. We are going on a short break. I'll be right back. Good day, my people. My name now, Olowo Shai Deborah. They call me Debbie Exclusive. Now, good news, I won't give you now. I never hear. Be and be food court. You take about two day bracket. What do they not get? They get swallow. They get green. They get appetizer. What do they find? A juice. Na energy drink. What in I talk? Where they find? They get soup for you. You day here. Everything where you want your na chicken. You will like chicken very good. You day here. I want your food maybe. If you want carry and go, they get take away. You want to go and chop? You collect fresh air chop for. They go treat you well. If you want me to bring food, come your house. Then day. They they carry and go anywhere at so. The address they cajola. Floor works to do. No bike where you come for this kaba. If you don't enter kaba, just carry by say the go be on this food call. If you want copy and be food call, see their number for spread. Call them. They will answer you anytime, any day, anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to our corner. I'm still your host, Lola Joy. I hope you enjoyed that break. So back to mommy. Thank you very much for mm -hmm. being here with us. We are really glad. Thank you for having me. We still have a few things to ask you. Mm -hmm. So please tell us, what are your uniqueness? I am a unique human being. And then, I never back down on any challenge. As they come, I face them squarely. Okay. I'm a positive-minded person. I am creative. Wow. My creativity is not exhausted. I keep thinking of what to do every time in my life. I am beautiful. Yes, Be created. Without beauty. Yes. <laughs> I am important. Yes, mommy. I'm an important person. Whether you like it or not, I feel important. And I cannot be relegated to the background. Mm -mm. I love people. I sincerely love people. And I, I like to see areas in which I can help, no matter how small. Mm. So that is who I am. Oh, that's mm. very fair. So, mommy, tell us about your services as a woman. What? You told us about what you do, and of course, like uh, you gardening, you you do yeah gardener. Yes, you do, I do agriculture, and of course, yes. you're a caterer. So tell yes. us about your services and how you began. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's a long story. Oh, well, just make it short <laughs> for us. We are just interested. Wow. In you <laughs> I told you that I'm I'm creative. I love doing exactly. things. I love doing things with my hands. I can I can even make hair. Wow. It's just that I don't do that one for commercial purpose. Okay. Then I do, I bake cakes. I I do small, small catering here and there for whoever needs 
my service, service and yeah. then I am passionate about what I do. I love cooking, actually. My love for cooking ah, is such that when I cook food and you eat, I'm watching to see if you are really enjoying it. If I can't get that, that expression, exactly. I will ask you, are you really enjoying it? So I love cooking. I love cooking. It gives me joy to really cook for people. Thank you very much yes. on mm. your advice and of mm. course the how you buttress on those points. Mm. So now, are women liabilities or assets? I would say every woman is an asset. But really, to be a liability, it depends on the person. Why? Anyone. It depends on the choices we make. Okay. So you decide that you want to be a liability, it is left to you. But God created every woman to be an asset. We are partakers in the art of creation. Okay. My dear. You carry another human being in your body for nine months. You sleep and wake up. Please calculate how many days we have in nine months, how many hours, how many minutes. <laughs> you understand me? Time, yes, sir. You experience labor. You bring another human being into the world. You are an asset to humanity. But in the area of making money, some women can be liabilities as a result of laziness. But in the area of procreation, we are assets to humanity. Okay. Thank you very much, mm. Mommy, for coming here. <laughs> and of course, shedding light on the mm. things we've spoken today. Mm. We're very glad <laughs> <laughs> and we're happy to have you here. Good. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here too. Okay. Mm. So give us a shout out mm -hmm. today. <laughs> shout out to Work Studio. Well, I want to say well done to Work Studio. Okay. And then um, pray that um, the sky is your starting point by his grace we will hear about you worldwide Amen. by special grace of God the Lord will position you that help that you need you will find you Amen. by special grace of God Amen. he will expand the studio and then maybe when next I'll come will be bigger than this. Yes, so we'll be glad to have you back as well. In Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Okay. So thank you very much for listening. Hey guys, drop your comment and of course subscribe to this channel. I am still your host, Lola Jewel. On the flip side. Bye. <laughs>